Today I'd like to correct some misconceptions about plug-in serial hybrids in general and about the GM Volt in particular. The idea of a plug-in serial hybrid is that you have a battery electric car with a tacked-on uh, motor engine generator to generate electricity uh, while the car is running. And that electricity can be used to charge the battery or to run the car directly. So the way the, the car works is you drive the car just like a real EV with all the reliability of a Toyota RAV4 EV and all the efficiency until the battery is depleted. And then it, it, it isn't that it's that that's a problem. Then a, a this this is something we can do every day. Then the gas engine generator uh, chimes in at the end when the battery is depleted and runs the car directly through the regenerative braking shunt as we can show the uh, RAV4 EV does quite successfully. So the wear and tear on a plug-in serial hybrid is less than that on an EV and less than that on a Prius, not more. Uh, there aren't more charge cycles. It isn't that the uh, electric car, the plug-in serial hybrid runs down the battery and then the engine generator has to charge the battery full and then deplete it again and charge it again and deplete it again. Although it could, you know, you could stop the car and let the engine generator charge up the battery pack and then run it again until you deplete it. But why, why do that? You'd rather uh, plug it into the wall and recharge it from uh, grid electricity, which is much more efficient uh, than anything else, preferably off peak and preferably from a solar panel or solar panel credits. So uh, then the, uh, Volt then would, would be basically just a uh, RAV4 EV type configuration with the nickel metal hydride batteries that last 200,000 miles with a tacked on added gas engine. It wouldn't be a Prius where the gas engine runs the car directly. It's an electric car with an engine generator. So you run the car until the, the batteries are empty. Then you start the engine up, uh, the engine cranks up and runs the generator and generates electricity, which goes in the regenerative braking shunt, runs the car. Now you have a depleted battery, which is great because when you get a need regenerative braking, you, you take the energy of motion back into the battery. You couldn't do that when the battery is full. It's one of the problems with an electric car that they don't tell you. So when the battery is full, you can't do regenerative braking. So you have to have some place to put the energy that, of motion. So in actuality, a plug-in serial hybrid has all the strengths of an electric car and none of the weaknesses, and, and, it, and it bypasses the difficulties of the, of the, of the Prius or any other uh, hybrid. So it's a superior configuration, not inferior. Uh, 